What's up guys, Jay here with uh, D and the camera. We came to Marathon Florida today to fish some mackerel. This is the first one, we actually caught it on a spoon. And this is just the beginning. Let's go get some more. What's up guys, D from JD, going macro fishing, this is what we're using, we got thread herring, or in Spanish to us would be machuelo, here's what we got, just gonna cut the tail, cut the head, you can use it if you want to, we use it as chum, all we want is a nice little chunk bait, what kind of hook are you using, I'm gonna be using a treble hook on a steel assist right here, call it what you want, that's all we're going for, macro are about 60 feet back there. We're gonna free line it. Wait till we get a hit. The trick to all of this is to uh, definitely chum a lot. Be patient, it'll come to you. Oh, there he is. Back. There he is. Alright, guys, we got one on. He is running this way. Alright. Oh, he's on your left. Oh, there's one behind him. Oh, nice one. Yeah. Oh, you're still behind him. This one got me on the spoon. Oh, this one's big. Where's the, where's the net? Oh, nice. nice. Hold on. Hold on. Go on. Go on. There it is. Spanish man, guys. And spoon. <laughs> Lining this way. <gasps> There's a shark. There he is. Look at the hammerhead, guys. Oh my god. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> oh my god. What is it? Oh. Alright guys. D is on. We're on again. Hopefully it's another mackerel. Hopefully our our shark friend leaves us alone. And if he didn't get hit already, he feels heavy now. Yeah, I don't think so. He's just a big one. It's a nice macro. Yep, it's a macro. Alright guys, this is number four of the day. I believe we have one zero. This is the third macro in there. They're kind of mixed up. They're beautiful fish, great fighters, mainly on light tackle. Uh, let's try to get another one. Let's try not to get shark. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> What's up guys, so uh, we came out here. We're definitely having a great time catching Spanish mackerels. We've um, encountered something. A shark. 
<laughs> guys the struggle was really big unbelievable um sometimes in 10 12 feet of water the fish you find is unbelievable this um hammerhead shark was probably anywhere between 12 to 14 feet you're gonna, yeah, yeah you're gonna definitely see it in the video hope you guys enjoy it um it came after a bluefish that i uh, caught we're gonna continue um hunting for these uh spanish macros they're not running as thick as uh they usually are it's kind of warm it's about 84 we got a northeast wind but uh we're gonna keep chuggling we're gonna keep chumming and hopefully we'll get them chuggling chuggling chumling chumming <laughs> that's a new one all right, guys, stay tuned and remember uh, always keep our waters uh, clean and stay safe. Keep, keep fishing, fishing through water. Awita. Awita. These are groupers. You stuck? Yeah. Hold on. These are blacks. All right, guys, well, we made it offshore somehow. Jay just lost a really big fish on some of the pinfish we caught earlier. I lost two big fish. We're gonna try to get one of these on for you. I know it's a little weird. We were about 20 miles in that direction. We were on the bay side of Marathon catching mackerel. Um, Seven mile bridge now. But we're gonna do some offshore fishing. Beautiful sunset coming up now. And let's see if we can catch you guys one. Let's go. size of that snapper. <laughs> snapper. All right. Well, guys, change of scenery. We came offshore. <laughs> Got a snapper. It's a nice snapper. It's a nice one. All right. All right. Sean. <laughs> He let go. Let that go. was a black grouper. That was a black grouper. Look, he didn't cut. No. That was a black grouper. Someone do those black groupers here. Wow. It's alright. Let's go get another one. But that was definitely a black grouper though. It's good. Wow. wow, he spit right there. You saw the size of that? Oh my fuck. That was massive. Had him right there. Look, he didn't cut my line, nothing. All right, let's go get another one. That one was good. All right. Well, guys, that's fishing. You don't catch them all, but we're going to do our best to catch another one. Uh, I think we're 0-3 on groupers now, 0-4, so that's how it is. Let's try to get one. All right, guys, right at sunset. Bring something up. Let's see what we got. Hey, well, the, the little one. The little and one. And he let go, too. Come on, buddy. <laughs> well, not the one we're looking for. There's a lot bigger black grouper down there, but it's good to see that the little ones are down there as well. So let's try to get the big one. All right. So I just brought up that mudden. I'm sure that there's bigger mudden down there. We got a yellowtail in the cooler. Uh, Jay caught that mangrove earlier. We brought up that little black grouper of mine. Jay lost a big black grouper next to the boat. Tons of action, tons of fish. We're gonna try to record as much as we can now with a little bit of sunlight we got. I just kind of wanted to show you guys the setup that we're, at least that I'm going with here. Got a 6,000 on here. It's a little hard to see. 6K, we got about 40 pound braid. Using a knocker rig, 60 pound leader. Kind of all you need a bottom fish you can go a little heavier if you want to i know jay's using 8000s over there a little bit heavier because he's throwing the live baits 
but you know up to your discretion just kind of a little a little tip so let's get back to fishing come on come on come on you're out of there already <laughs> we went ahead and popped it so she can go down and there she goes. Alright, here we are. Back at the shop. Yesterday was a great day. What do you think, Jay? What's up, guys? So, you guys saw us uh, in Marathon, Florida catching some Spanish mackerels yesterday and then heading offshore. Wasn't too successful because we got, uh, we got beat. <laughs> we got beat up by the fish yesterday. But um, come check out our store, guys. JD Outdoors here in Miami, Florida. You gotta come check us out. We're not just a made in tackle shop, guys. It's an experience. You must see it. All right, guys. So what I mean by an experience is that we have a little bit of everything here. Um, we actually have a woman's boutique. So when you guys come with your girlfriends and wives, guess what? This is where they come. Why? Because we got jewelry, we got clothing, we got home decor. So it's a nice little spot right here. We have some sunglasses all the way to sandals, apparel. And over here is um, Joel. Yep. Joel, one of, our, um, one of our elite employees here. He knows everything, guys, from fly fishing, offshore, inshore, everything, you name it. And um, over here is our offshore side. And we got top name, name brands just like uh, Nomad, Fathom, um, Landlords. We, I mean, you name it, we got it all here in stock. Um, right this way. Follow me. We got a large assortment of rods. This is the fly section, which we're actually expanding it. It's going to be a total of 500 square feet when we're done. It's only right now 300 square feet. But we have everything here from fly time materials to actual flies. Everything you need for fly fishing, we have here in stock. And if we don't have it, we order it for you. We have rods just as Scott's. We have Renaton. We have TFO. So we have top name brands. Reels. We have Nautilus. Tibor, Reddington. Um, we're going to be bringing in now Abel as well. This is Joel again, if you haven't met him before. We also high end yo yo's. Just, you know. High end yo yo's are really good. Guys, we have all backcountry right here. We have all top name brands as well. Can't even speak today. Hard baits, soft baits. Our bass section is back here. And uh, we're doing a lot of remodeling right now, so excuse us for the mess. All right. Guys, the largest assortment of rods. I'm talking about Star Rods, Falcon, JD Rods, Boo Babe, Fitzgerald, Pen Rods, Shimano Rods. You name it, we got it. We have all the top baits, frozen bait, fr uh, fresh bait. We're open every day at 6 o'clock in the morning, all the way to 9 p.m. Guys, it's an experience. You guys gotta come come by us if you haven't been uh, to JD Outdoors, Bait and Tackle Shop in Miami, Florida. Guys, once again, this is Joel, the man, the man. Guys, stay safe, keep fishing. See you soon. Keep our waters clean.